Hey what's going on guys, Kovamakikins here. In this video we're gonna add a feature of evaluating positional peace scores within our chess engine in order to give it an idea of where exactly to develop its pieces. So without uh, this tables I'm supposed to be uh, I'm supposed to add now into the source code, it won't be developing pieces or doing something reasonable, it would be just moving pushing a pawn <laughs> at very least or things uh, or weird things like that. So uh, it's not literally not enough to have all material only evaluation to actually debug our search and improve it. So I just want to add a few tables for every piece type. So I, I will just uh, I will quickly walk through this. So this is what we have added here. So these tables, and now let me explain like what are these tables and how exactly this work they work. So here we have the constant integers, that means that we're not ever going to be changing these values, and we have this, uh, the scores for pawn. So this, uh, so you say like a, a1 square, uh, b1, c1, and so on. So on e2, white pawn, if uh, we need to statically evaluate the position and we see the pawn is available on e2, that gives uh, gives that pawn uh, a score of minus 10. But if it uh, the pawn would be on e4, it gives the score of 20, which means that uh, most likely our engine would try to centralize its pawns in order to uh, actually gain a better score. And also, uh, this entire logic of scoring gives uh, an opportunity for our pawns to get promoted to uh, to the eighth rank here. And uh, something similar for, for the knights, but for knights we would rather like to uh, center the knight, centralize the knights, so it, it's best, uh, the, place, the best places for knights to be in the chessboard are like d4, e4, uh, e4, d4, d5 and e5, and it's incredibly bad for a knight to be uh, on the board edge, so uh, that's, here we have some penalty values, and uh, these values I'm currently using mm, uh, I did reference some other engines, uh, p square tables, but eventually I've composed my own, and these uh, these uh, tables you can see here are, are already kind of my own composition. So uh, they they share some ideas, like uh, this knight attack, this knight scores uh, uh, shares the idea of scoring board edges mi like minus five from TSCP, but uh, uh, all the other ideas like uh, well, uh, putting this minus 10 on initial squares is taken from the Wise, by, uh, Wise Chess Engine by Richard Albert, Albert, also known as Blue Fever Software, and so on. So, uh, here is the bishop scores, which is uh, my own uh, <laughs> uh, invention, my, my, my own invention. So, uh, I'm uh, scoring this uh, Fianchetto uh, squares with a 30 which gives uh, an opportunity to uh, make, to, to, he just uh, tries to play like g7, g6, uh, g, g to g3 or b to b3 and then he just uh, fin, fin shadows the bishop in case if the bishop finds itself getting locked and not able of uh, going to the center, central squares like uh, like here. So th th this is quite, uh, this score gives quite pretty interesting style of play which is not 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 like we have in most engines and here we get the rook scores so we're generally we're trying to centralize our rooks and we're trying to uh, uh, to make an inv uh, invasion to to the seventh and the eighth rank of the opponent and interesting stuff regarding the king so usually people have like no no normal people not not called monkey king but normal people usually have two race with a king score. So the one is used for uh, middle game and in middle game uh, uh, it's trying to not put in king into the center, so not giving a central, uh, this uh, central scores. And another uh, is actually uh, entirely consists of the centralizing scores to make, uh, to give uh, a king an idea to move towards center when it's, when it comes to the end game. But uh, eventually uh, I came up with this sort of uh, uh, united table of kin score for which works uh, quite pretty nicely both in end game and in the middle game. So in the middle game, it most likely castles king side, uh, and it sometimes can castle queen side. 
it's not going to the center of the board because there are some pieces and so on but uh when it comes like the, the less pieces on board and eventually just uh it just starts going to the center when it comes to the end game so surprisingly this this particular schema uh showed itself to be quite pretty effective combination of uh the ideas to not try not to expose skin into the center in the uh uh, beginning of the game in the opening and eventually try to push the king towards the center in uh, in the end game so uh, I came up with this uh, uh, using the trial and error method but it works quite, quite pretty nicely I, I need to say and the very last array again like the idea taken from uh, wise chess engine by Bluefever software so we just uh, mirror uh, the our uh, we, we would be using this uh, array to uh, to mirror the scores for the opposite side to move so say like if this uh, square is uh, e4 then uh, uh, if we mirror this to the black that it, this this would uh, re, uh, this would became the e5 like you see right over in here oh sorry what have I done nope so and so on so like this one is g2 and if mirrored it would be it would become the g7 and so on. so just to give uh, the mirrored score to, to the to the opponent so not only to the white pieces but to the black pieces as well well okay so um, what else yeah so starting from this point we can actually add this functionality of uh, evaluating the positional piece scores and obviously, like I've been already mentioning, so if the piece uh, finds itself on the current given square, it gets this evaluation, which is being counted within the evaluation function. So the the better uh, score move, uh, the better position uh, the piece have, the better score this uh, position would return. The more chances that this would eventually be played within our search. So that's the, the, uh, by manipulating this arrays. You can change the style of play of your chess engine so feel free to change this and just see like how in particular the style of game would be changed and like i've been doing this for quite a bit of time and like for quite a lot basically and this these are the numbers that i came up with at the very end and i'm not changing them anymore because i feel quite pretty satisfied with these values but you again like you can you're, you're free to change this if you want your engine to behave a little bit different so um, here uh, just uh, right below the score material weights we want to score uh, uh, positional piece scores positional piece scores and uh, the very first thing uh, I just want to switch the piece and we will have the cases for all our uh, for, for all the pieces we have so starting from case white pawn and then and, and then we'll just break for a while uh, so case white pawn then uh, white knight white uh, bishop white rook white queen and white king and so here we have like evaluate uh, white uh, white pieces positional score well let's say evaluate white piece uh, pieces positional scores yeah like uh, or maybe just say here uh, well okay so let's let's say just so here we evaluate white pieces okay and here uh, we're supposed to be what have I done hold on and here we're supposed to be evaluating black pieces respectively so evaluate black pieces okay and in case of white pieces we want to say score plus equals and uh, in case of pawn we want to reference the pawn scores 
indexed by the square. So we, we've just extracted the square here, so we can use this square like right over in here. And for all the other pieces, uh, we can just change the name of, uh, of our piece. Uh, so here it would be the knight's course, here it would be the bishop's course, the rook's course, the queen's course, the king's course, and well actually, uh, yeah, just it's better to better grab them and copy and paste here. So here I just want to switch to black pieces. So pawn, knight, bishop, rook, queen, and the king. And here we'll, we'll say minus equals uh, because we want to give the negative score for, for the opponent's pieces. And also we're not referencing the square, but uh, we'll use our mirror score array. Uh, the mirror score array and indexed by the square and that's the way how we can actually uh, get the decent scores for our uh, black pieces so pawn knight bishop rook queen king and yeah if I did everything correctly this 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 should now work so let's well let's actually try to compile and run the code first and then we'll go for some tests so i just want to say make debug and if it makes i want to run the bbc binary executable oh my god what's going on here uh pawn scores so do they have rook bishop Oh, it's not scores, it's score, I guess. Yeah, sorry for this. Just the just wrong variable name. Okay. Okay. Queen score undeclared. Uh, hold on a sec. Yeah, we don't have a queen score at all. Yeah, why did, why did I think that? Yeah, we don't have a queen score because a uh, queen knows where to go without these scores and we don't really want the early queen uh, uh, we don't want queen take uh, take part into a game at the early stage obviously because it uh, most likely leads to the lose uh, as as claimed in the principles of how to play chess for humans at least Okay, so now at least it compiles, so let's go downwards and I just tried to move some pieces and to see how exactly this is going to be changing. So uh, I just want to remove the pawn from e2 and I want to put it on uh, e4 like this and now this should give me the value of I guess 20, yeah, this should be the value of 20 okay oh 30 okay so let's let's search for pawn score to make sure that that's uh that's the exact score mm, okay hold on a sec this is a bit strange to me or no no uh well actually this is correct because uh this is correct because we have this 20 and then we have a minus 10 for a black pawn so yeah it uh, so this minus 10 is like plus 10 for this 20 that's the reason why it scores uh like that so yeah this, this should be correct okay uh anyway um, let's try to uh well actually if i just if i just get rid of this uh it should give 20 now just to, yeah now it gives 20 okay so that's I was right actually uh, like where this 30 comes from okay and now let's try to put the pawn on if uh, this pawn so e7 and here four empty squares black pawn and three empty squares so it should be a, a score of zero now okay perfect and now if we just go knight to 
F3 should give us uh, a new score again. So let's try to get rid of this knight from here. And here it would be so two moves from the right, then, uh, then the knight. And how many? So two, three, and five like this. Now knight should go to F3. Yeah, and we again we got this 30 big because there should be like minus 10 with the knight scores and so on. So let, let me just uh, check the knight scores. Yeah, it's minus 10. So it's the same story like we had with the pawn. So we have 20 here, but uh, uh, opponent has minus 10. So that's why we have 30. Well, okay, guys. So uh, this seems to be like kind of it. And starting from the next video, finally we'll go to implement in our alphabet search algorithm and starting from the next video we'll finally see how the engine actually would be making some moves like playing chess uh in the in the next video in particular in particular this would still be weird but at least as the proof of concept we would be able to see that so uh i'm tempted to see you in the next video guys and thanks for watching this series and follow it and following it this inspires me quite pretty a lot. So, uh, hope to see you in the next uh, in the next videos. Until then, and take care.